With the spring swing in full gear, hopefully you've been blessed with more germination success than you know what to do with. Once you get the hang of the right moisture, the right temperature, the seeding of cells, the plants do most of the early work. And work they do. In the right conditions, seeds sprout with gusto. But in the comfy confines of indoors or in a greenhouse, they're gonna continue to grow at an accelerated rate, almost exponential in nature. It'll soon be time for some new digs. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we give you all the gardening tips. And today's episode is all about increasing your transplanting success. If you only grow a few specimens and you're able to start your seeds in larger pots, you can likely skip the transplanting until it's time to get those plants out into the garden. Transplanting is a shock to the system and we really try to avoid it unless it's necessary. But in the case of a very late and extended winter or monstrous zucchini plants that have completely outgrown their plug trays, it becomes necessary. And there's a few things that we growers can do to ensure a smooth transition from a plug to a larger pot. I've singled out three for today, time short as always, so let's get into it. The first tip to eventually getting tomato transplants like this is timing. It's better to move your plugs and small plants on a little bit too late than it is to do it too early. You'll want the plant to be firmly established both above the ground and below. No matter what the variety, Moving young plants on too early before they're ready is not a good idea. Wait until your young plants have multiple whorls of true leaves, usually no earlier than four to six weeks after initial germination. I'm just starting to harden off this rainbow chard here, and it's looking a little sad sack. It's okay, it'll come back. But it brings me to my second tip, and that's moisture. No matter which way you shake it, transplanting is a shock to the system. And the biggest way to minimize that shock is adequate moisture. You can't plant your seedlings into dry soil and expect them to flourish. Pre-soak any new soil for at least two hours prior to planting. It's better for the plants and it's better for you because making those holes to insert the plugs is infinitely easier when the soil is able to hold itself together. And the last tip for transplanting success is to be gentle. Whatever you do, don't tug on the stems to pull the plugs out for planting. Even if the stem itself doesn't literally break, you can bruise and damage the transport tissues. No tissues means no water and no nutrient uptake. That's not gonna make for a healthy plant. You know what is gonna make for healthy plants though? Quite likely the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.